to the daily review. This is Fed Ray senior trading strategist here at CM Trading. And today is March 21st, 2024, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the highlights today, the U.S. markets explode after Fed Chairman Powell keeps interest rates unchanged. But first, looking at today's major economic events. So we have a bunch of flash manufacturing and services PMI numbers coming out. At 10.15 from France, at 10.30 from Germany, 11.30 from Great Britain, and 3.45 from the United States, all South African time. Now, in addition today at 2 p.m. South African time, we have MPC official bank rate decision coming out for Great Britain. Now, looking at the various markets, starting out with the forex symbols, the U.S. dollar retreats versus the major pairs. And as we look at the indices, the Dow Jones makes new record highs. While the Nasdaq also advances, gold rebounds back to its highs and oil trickles lower. Now, looking at the stocks, it's the bank stocks that were the ones that advanced the most. Even JP Morgan making new record highs. Now, lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin rebounds. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go, first with the Euro USD. We got that spike yesterday, and that's obviously because of the FOMC rate statement. We are correcting itself. So with that said, I expect the US markets to correct themselves also. Okay, if we look almost across the board, GBP USD on a daily chart. Let's take a look at a four hour chart. That's a little bit better. There we go. I mean, it's correcting itself as well. So this may be a fade opportunity for what happened yesterday in the US markets. I'm looking at the Australian dollar did fade but not as much okay the australian dollar had a number this morning but was at the top of that range so keep that in mind now what didn't correct itself is the japanese yen the japanese yen is very close to its all-time record lows once again and did not retreat much lower so keep that in mind as this may find itself back on its record lows now jumping into commodities gold Pushed higher to new record highs to 2200, but did fade itself. You can see that in a one hour chart a little bit better uh, because they see that spike and then the correctional move right, came right afterwards. Now, again, it could fade itself, um, I, and that's most likely what will happen. What happened with the Fed is that they left interest rates unchanged. So, why did the markets explode? Well, it's really very simple um, it's the fact that the anticipation that in June they're going to start decreasing interest rates because somewhat inflation is in check and basically based on Powell's comments he's not so concerned about the bumpiness of inflation rates so keep that in mind so now looking at oil we did retrace okay which was somewhat of a resistance area not a big resistance area at 8240 uh, if we look at the US market starting out with the Dow Jones 40k that's big for the Dow Jones. That's a very big number for the Dow Jones. All-time record highs. I and mean, we can see that quite clearly. I mean, if we look from September 11th of 2011 until where we are here, I mean, this is just orbital. I mean, this is why we invest in the U.S. markets, okay, because they give you great returns. Now, look at the NASDAQ also pushed back to its highs, but didn't push up higher. Now, really, if we look at the leaders there, Microsoft, rebounded but didn't push higher okay facebook also pushed higher but not to record highs so the nasdaq is not pushing higher even apple gained a little bit even though it's going to go through an antitrust lawsuit right now and that's going to put some weight onto apple and that's why the stocks are depressed so much now looking at the banks jp morgan hits record highs 196 that's a big move for uh, JP Morgan as well as three dollars Bank of America also pushed higher as well and there were the ones that gained the best now lastly let's take a look at Bitcoin because Bitcoin has been trading quite crazy these last couple of days we trickled down from our high of 73,000 get back down to 61 and then we bounce right back to 67 so we're at midpoint from our high to where we are right now so keep this in mind okay this is really a level where it should be leveling off or maybe even correcting itself a little bit more but there's sure to be some more activity and some more play here with Bitcoin so just it's at an extended move so we may find ourselves having a fade here so keep that in mind as that may still happen okay it's at that 50% move this is Fed Rezac I want to wish you guys a great trading day thank you